Am I in focus? Definitely not. There we go. <gasps> wow. Right. It's a really simple look, but so many people have been requesting for me to show you how I did my makeup on this Instagram photo. Um, let me show you. This one. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you how I did it. It's honestly simple. It's more focused on the skin and lashes. So I'm just going to quickly get into it. All those necklace things are from Bershka and so is this top, but I ordered it. Got it in Tenerife. The eyeshadow we're using is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. You don't have to use this palette. This is just the one that I use. You just need some warm brown shades and like a couple of orange shades. So, makeup geek, Violet Boss. Just trying to clear up some spice. So for my transition, oh, I've like shattered the green a bit and it's like gone everywhere. For the transition, I'm going to take a mixture of the orange shade and this warm brown and I'm going to take a large brush and just pop it in my crease let's see how long I can wear it before putting a headband on or something but if you want to do a video on how I did these curls then let me know I don't like back home draw it yeah I don't like give it volume it's just like People are like, you need to like learn how to fake tan your hands, but basically I've had this on since Friday and like I wash my hands like 25 times a day. So obviously it's just going to wash straight off your hands. Same with your face. They're like, why is your face white? Because like, I wash my face like three times a day because I'm a greasy. <laughs> That's why, hon. So obviously my tan comes off. Right, this is what I did. I went in with this in my crease, just like how I did, and then... The one next to it, but I put the dark one on the outer corner as well. So yeah. This first brown's like a camel colour. I might as well just wipe that brush actually. But this is the brush I use as well, and I haven't washed it, that's why it's like the colour of what we're gonna be using. <laughs> MAC 221. I say this every video, but the best brush I've ever bought. I think it's like the only brush. Yeah, it's like the only brush I've got from MAC as well. I'm so excited for Daisy's birthday. We're gonna go to German Market and she's gonna start vlogging and doing YouTube and we're gonna start doing loads of like videos together. We're just gonna like vlog and film our lives when we see each other. Pretty much. Um obviously she's gonna vlog when her like everyday life as well. So I mean like not just gonna vlog when she's with me, but we're gonna do loads together. So we'll like vlog when we go to German Market for a birthday. But we literally like started buying like matching clothes and we're gonna get like matching designer handbags and shoes and I'm excited. See ya hand. And then I'm gonna go with the dark one on the same brush, the one next to it. Colours focused on the outer corner, I don't put it on the lid. Um to be honest, I just put like a matte white but I didn't need to and I don't have one on hand. Because I forgot about that stuff. going with that one I'm not gonna go in with the dark one just this one on the same brush like just don't be scared to use the same brush it's always this conceal I don't know if it's my lid but I get like a line down it and it keeps happening I think it's my eyelid I'm gonna like scrub my eyelids and then I'm just gonna take this chocolatey brown colour and then I think yeah that's the last we're gonna use I just remember using the chocolate brown one, so I can't neglect it. Um, I'm going to start out with putting a few drops of this, just on like the highest points of my face. It's the Iconic London Drops. And I'm using the original ones because I'm tanned. Just put a little bit, just... I don't want loads on because... Ah! It's fine. Like, this don't look a lot, but people don't understand. And I'm just going to use like a foundation brush to like. I'm going to put it in my T-zone area because I'm putting a pore filling one there because my pores are like, it's fat. I've been doing more like talk through videos so if you prefer them then let me know because everyone hates when I do voiceovers but then they all tell me my voice makes me sound disabled. So I'm just going to take the Benefit Professional and just put that in my holy areas. 
My paws, my paws, I need my paws. Foundation, this is the one that I use, that's why my skin looked like flawless. It's this foundation, Luminous Silk Foundation, Giorgio Armani. I'm in the shade 6 and it's like, kind of matches me now. It's like a tan shade for me. I've got two pumps on there, hand. Because I'm not like, I don't like full coverage no more. I think that's just because my skin's being kind of good to me. Like when I get like a bit spotted and I'll use more, but I just like a medium light coverage. And then obviously I've got really dark under eyes, so I'll just conceal and stuff and perfect my skin with concealer because I don't like cakey makeup no more. For concealer, I'm taking the Instant Anti-Age The Iris, so this is in the shade Neutralizer, it's like pure yellow. But I love yellow products. It's a little Elvis quiff. But I'm literally using all the same products I used, and they'll all be listed down below. I'm going to cream contour, this is the Mehron contour highlight palette. I got this in my co my college kit like last year and it, they tried to make it use for like foundation, it like pure grease, but I like this. You can buy it in a single pan, it's in the shade dark DK1, you can buy it as like a refill pan, but it's just like so like brown and golden rather than like orange and it's so nice to contour. You're like, <sighs> do you know what I mean? They dry up so quick, but then they're so greasy. It's a little bit, little bit on my nose. The Cody Airspun Powder. I'm not Laura Mercier one left anywhere, but I just, this is just as good, you know. And like when, like I used to use, oh, I used to use Laura Mercier every video. It's 30 quid a tub and I'm like, I'm spending hundreds of pounds when I could use a cheaper one. So then you all recommended this one. Like I'd heard, seen people use it and I'm like, nah, it'll be shit. Correction, it'll be rubbish. And then it's like changed my life. I'm just going to like contour whilst that's baking, but y'all probably going to get fed up with seeing this combo. But this is what I wore that day. So I'm going to use it. The Benefit Hula to contour. I love how I'm doing a full beak to go last a bit. I wanted to film this as well. Before I forget what products I used, like, I'm terrible. I'm then going to take MAC and give me sun. It's perfect when you're, like, medium at skin tones. I don't use it if you're pale because it would literally look like that colour on your skin. Like, it looks so orange on me, like, now. I used to, like, probably rip into my mum for having proper, like, orange bronzer when I was younger. And now it's happened to me, like... If it's not orange, then I'm not interested. As you can tell by my face, hand. Just gonna like, spray my face with the Mario Badescu aloe cucumber and green tea spray. I prefer this one of the rose one. I just prefer it, but I like both. They're the same thing. But when oh, that tastes good. <laughs> I hate myself. I'm gonna take the Anastasia Nicole Guerrero palette. I think this is actually discontinued, but maybe look on like Depop. Don't buy a fake one though, because you'll go blind. And I'm not joking. But there's so many gold highlighters that like Anastasia do so many different glow kits, so like you'll be able to get one very similar. I'm just gonna take the mixture of the darker gold shades. Okay then. <laughs> See ya hon. I'm just literally going to take my MAC 221 brush and just, you won't be able to like see my papa when I do this. I'm going to take that dark chocolate brown, you know the last colour we used, and I'm going to use that one to get deeper to my lash line. I'm going to get in my boyfriend's cat, I got that's done, I'm going to put that. Next step's optional, but I did apply a dark brown eyeliner. This is the Makeup Geek Espresso one. I got it in like the pack, I don't know if you can buy them individually, but 
tagline and waterline, well, half of my waterline. Just so I don't know it's fully close up my eyes. But I think we might be naming these Felicia or another lash Felicia, so. Introducing Felicia Lash, 2K17. We just love the name Felicia and like we always say that by Felicia. And I know it's straight out of Compton and I love it even more, so it'd be jerks if we did. I hope I am in focus, but for lips, I just took them lashes off camera because my camera will be weird. I'm gonna set the Dr. K lip liner and then Yash matte lipstick from MAC. This is my favourite like lip liner. And it's like so small. But I don't want to order off the website, so if anyone's like selling one on Depot, hold at me. If you love Honey Love and you haven't tried Josh, then I'd get Josh. Like sometimes Honey Love's a bit too. Concealer on me when I'm tanned, but like this is perfect. Um, so yeah, that's the finished makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope it went too long and like blagged all your heads, but it blagged mine. If you want me to show you how I did these curls, then let me know as well, and I'll film that. I'll leave a link to everything down below, and I hope you all enjoyed and like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.